Hi, and welcome to yet another video about API gateways. Now you should know some of the basics when it comes to API gateways. We have learned how to make endpoints that can return information using HTTP GET requests and how to post information to our API using HTTP POST requests. These are probably the two most common use cases for an API. In this video, we will discover another use case that probably are a bit more obscure, but can be very useful. I am of course talking about making our API redirect users to another resource. Redirect can be very useful when, for example, we have a website with a link to an external resource, but we want to register every click on that link. Then we can send the user to our API first, register the click, and then redirect him or her to the correct destination. In our case, we just want to send users to Google Images each time a user requests images of a specific bird. So, how is this going to work? Well, I was thinking about adding another endpoint to our API, where users can perform an HTTP GET request, and then the response will contain a status code of 302 and a location header with the destination link. A web browser will then automatically go to the website located in the location header. Before we continue, if you find my videos interesting and want to learn more about serverless and AWS, please consider subscribing to my channel and smash that bell icon to get notified when I publish more content. So let's get started. First, go over to our DynamoDB table. I had to add an image URL attribute to each of the bird objects in our DynamoDB table. This attribute should contain the destination link, which in our case is just a Google Images search for the respective bird. If we go over to Lambda, you can see that I have already created a new Lambda function. I have also added the correct IAM access to our DynamoDB table. To get the image URL, we first need to know what bird the user requests. And you probably guessed it, we can just reuse almost all the code from the previous video, where we retrieved information about a bird given the bird ID. I'll link that video above in case you missed it. Now, all we need to change is the return object. Instead of returning status code 200, we want to return 302, which is redirect, and we don't want to return any response body, just an HTTP header called location, with the value set to the image URL from the bird object. Lastly, hit deploy. Now that's done, we can create a new endpoint. Go over to our API gateway, then add a new route. This should, as I said earlier, be an endpoint of type get. And the path can be slash birds, slash curly braces id, slash images. So now we can just attach the integration with our Lambda function. And we should be good to go. I'll just copy the gateway URL, open a new browser window, paste in the URL and add the path and the path parameter, which is the ID of our beloved penguin, which I can just copy from our DynamoDB table. And at the end, add the new image URL path and lastly hit enter. Look at all the cute penguins. Well, what can I say? That wasn't too hard. Now we can see as many pictures of penguins as we want. So what's next? Well, up until now, we have made use of HTTP API gateways. In the next few videos, I'm going to show you how to make use of some of the more advanced features available in REST API gateways. These features are, for example, request body validation and authentication using AWS Cognito. 
Until next time, happy coding.